Hi, Mike Jordan here with iToolco. We are pleased to announce the launch of three new innovative tray rollers. Each one of these tray rollers features a drop over bolt on design, making all of your cable tray installations faster, safer, smarter, and easier. Let's take a quick look to see how they work. Quick and easy. Tighten a half inch bolt, then insert your two 3 8 inch locking underpins. Drop over and bolt on 5 inch, drop over and bolt on 10 inch, drop over and bolt on 10 inch 90. Next, grab your 3 quarter inch wrench, tighten that up. Keep in mind that this is aluminum tray we're attaching to so don't go too tight. Then grab your locking underpins, place both of those in your tray roller just underneath the framing member and you should be good to go. Let's take a closer look starting with the 5 inch roller. Okay, each one of our tray rollers is designed to accommodate uh, different sizes of strut and perforated tubing. Okay, just tighten that up. You can see right there. Right now we have uh, set up to go on to a piece of shallow strut. We'll just put our uh, underlocking pins on here, both sides, the left and the right there, and you should be good to go. All right. Um, you're also going to notice that there is multiple holes right here. So if we wanted to do shallow strut right here, or we wanted to take a look and do deeper strut, that's what these other holes are for. Okay. Um, perforated tube or um, deeper strut. Okay. Simply remove your uh, underlocking pins and remove your bolt and set it up. So if we had our perforated tubing, we'll grab our perforated tubing. We would uh, drop it over and uh, simply line up the holes right here. Okay. Um, and insert your uh, locking underpins. Okay. Now you'll notice that on this particular tubing that the um, holes do line up on the inch and a half perforated tubing. Um, so you can uh, do that. If it didn't line up for some reason, you can center up one, tighten up the bolt, or put the uh, locking underpins just underneath the framing member that you're doing. Also going to notice that the rollers are adjustable. Okay. So if you want to adjust the height of your rollers to be higher as it goes down the tray, you can do that. One of the other things you're going to notice is a solid aluminum 5-inch roller. We went with a solid aluminum 5-inch roller rather than the um, skate rollers because when you're pulling wire as the load gets heavier, the rope tends to want to get in between those two bearings on the skate rollers, the existing type, and that will blow out your bearings as you're doing that. So that's why we went the solid uh, aluminum roller, um, nice steel construction. It gives you a five inch rolling surface and they're about eight and a half inches tall and about two inches overall width. Also on the back of each roller is a nameplate rating describing what forces can be applied at what angles. Also available to the 5 inch roller is the tray roller accessory kit. The tray roller accessory kit includes two arms, the pin, and the Delron roller. This is a nice accessory for trapping, conductors, up and down waterfalls, uh, whatever your situation may be. Okay, we're talking about the 10 inch tray roller now. It has all the same properties as the 5 inch tray roller, works with multiple size struts and framing members. It has two of the aluminum rollers that ride on rated bearings rather than a bunch of the individual rollers. We chose to put uh, two solid um, rollers there again. Rides on a solid high chromium content axle that is uh, positionable for uh, whatever height you're wanting to position your rollers as you place it on your strut, giving you less friction on your rollers. The width of the rollers is 10 inches from side to side. Um, the height of the uh, tray roller is eight and a half inches. 
Um, the overall width of it is 11 and a quarter inches wide. Okay, um, that's going to give you your dimensions. Now you're going to notice all the holes again there for whatever framing member you're inserting to. Let's just take this one out. We're going to say that we're inserting this onto a um, perforated inch and a half tube. That would be that hole right there. This side over here was already set up for an inch and five eighths uh, strut. So you would just make sure that that's under, underneath your strut. Um, flipping it around, you'll see that there's the um, half inch bolt right here. That's what you're going to go ahead and tighten your half inch bolt onto uh, whatever structure member or framing member that you're mounting it to. Looking on the inside, you can see how the um, tray roller works. Okay, you just tighten that onto the framing member, making sure that your two locking underpins are installed and you're ready to pull wire. Our trapping rollers also use the drop over bolt on design. Great for trapping conductors, going around 90s or offsets, changes in elevation up or down. Let's take a quick look to see how they work. The trapping roller features four solid aluminum rollers with rated bearings. Okay, These are fantastic for going around corners, um, offsets, things of that nature. Say we were going around a 24-inch uh, radius, we'd set these up, install our strut, um, where they needed to be, maybe three as shown, shown here in the uh, picture, um, taking them off, setting them back up to uh, perform a trapping function where we had changes in elevation of our tray. Um, we would simply line these up, install our uh, locking underpin, and um, then we would be ready to make a wire pull. Once we're done with our wire pull, we can simply open that up, slide the cables out, put this back together right here, um, and then we'd be ready to do our another pull. Again, good for vertical, round corners, down, uh, whatever your case may be. For more information, please call 865-670-3713 or go to itoolco.com for a list of our stocking distributors.